Recently we have shown you the facelift of the Volkswagen T6 at T6.1. Brian already has shown you the driving review and today it's about the camper version, the T6.1 California. So what's new? An exterior and interior and we have different trims, different versions. You can already see the camper is of course all about that folding roof but even more. Let's enjoy this together, let's go. So basically there are three different trims. There is the one we can see here, this is the beach. Then there is the coast, which is next to us. And then there's also the ocean, so three different trims. And I can already tell you so far, this one here, the beach, is the one without the kitchen. The other two do have the kitchen on the inside. On the outside you can spec it as you like it. For example, you can see here, this is the new facelifted front. It looks a little bit more prominent, those chrome stripes right there. You know has a bigger stance on the road and those are here also the new LED headlamps they have a new design both the main unit and the daytime running light standard is halogen not the H4 but now the H7 halogen lights and then optional you can go for the LED so although the beach is the one without kitchen and also the cheapest one it starts at about 50,000 euros as the camper version here you can of course spec this one here really really high trim as well here also in this dual color scheme which has this retro style 4 meters 90 16 foot 1 or 192 inches is the length so that means this one here has the normal or short wheelbase there is no long wheelbase version so all the campers here on the same wheelbase here again you can see this dual color scheme those ones here are also retro style so to say 17 inch wheels and you can also get uh, bigger wheels of course <laughs> so, and of course this falling roof here in this case you can see there are no hydraulic struts that means this one here is the electric one. So the standard would be the one with hydraulic struts. You push up manually and this one here, optional then, or is standard for the ocean, is the one with the electric function. There's a new display on the inside. We can soon check it out. First of all, definitely a likable design. Typical T6, T6 style. And of course the huge glass side window. There it is, the sliding door. And you can already see it right there. There will be a second sliding door here the very first time for the beach version. So the other ones, of course, because they have the kitchen inside, do not get a second sliding door. In the rear, you can also get those new LED rear lights. They also have a new design. Other than that, remains in this typical form follows function style. And here has this California batching, the second one next to the one at the side. Let's now get to the interior because most changes are definitely there. First of all, the front, of course, more usable materials here on the inner part of the doors, all hardback, a lot of space at the inside of the doors. Electric window levers are by the way now standard, also Bluetooth connection is standard, also a little bit more standard equipment, also with the new halogen lights, yes. And then there, one of the new highlights is the new steering wheel, now electromechanic, because it can feature the new assistance systems, side assist, lane assist, and also, uh, you know, a wind assist, and also a trailer assist. So. This is really needed then that you need this new technology and also visually this one looks a little bit more modern definitely than before. Then those digital instruments are also available now. It starts still with analog ones, optional and digital instruments, 10.25 inch on the left side. On the right side then also new infotainment systems, 6.5, 8 inch or 9.2 inch similar to what you would find in the Volkswagen Golf. So those ones have been updated. Those are the major changes on the interior in the front. Here, by the way, also with a very nice setup with Alcantara on the inside and leather red on the outside. A perfect mix to keep cool in summer and warm in winter. And really high class. This looks like an exclusive passenger vehicle. Although we're in this commercial segment, so to say. So very, very nicely done. And they also offer you a very cozy seating and an upright seating position as we used to from the T6. And indeed here in the front, if you have the camper version or not, it's all the same. It's really very, very comfortable in here. You have a good view. You exactly see where the car is ending. And since this one here also has the normal length as you would normally buy a multivan, 
This is then also no difference in driving, at least not much. Of course, it's a little bit heavier and so on, but you won't notice it that much, so to say. So, very nice cockpit layout. This also looks very nice and feels very good. The steering wheel can also be adjusted in both ways. There we go. One thing Brian already mentioned is, you know, the shifting lever here is blocking the climate unit a little bit, the controls for the climate unit. That's one of the downsides. Yes, this one here is the um, manual climate unit here. There's also another one available. Um, yeah, you know, that's maybe one downside, but overall a very clean layout here and definitely stepped up the game with this facelift. One more look here at the cockpit perspective. Really looks more modern, especially with this new steering wheel and of course this one here with the biggest infotainment system. There are new no knobs left. If you go one lower with the 8 inch for example, then you can still have a knob for the volume for example. Then in the lower part you now get two USB-C charging devices. That's new definitely. And that a lot of cubby holes left and also the glove box, although it's not that huge, but you still have a lot of, uh, you know, places where you can put stuff and another news if we go all the way up right here this one here there's a new display it really looks high class as well and here you can then for example adjust the folding roof on top of it you can have the independent heating control right there you can set a timer for that and so on there's even um, a wake up LED light available when you're camping somewhere where it's dark, for example, oh there, yeah. need the ignition for that, but you can see here, here you can actually then put it up or down again, or like the leveling and so on. So everything can be controlled right there. So this is, so to say, the additional new camper unit. So in the rear is also very cozy, and especially here with the Alcantara bolt string. I can just sit here all day, basically. <laughs> There's also, you know, this manual shade here in the rear, so you can have a little bit more privacy handles right there and of course the rear bench the same as before here for example as for the armrest you can also fold the whole stuff so in the lower end you have to unleash so that's this functionality then in the middle part here you can flip this one here then pull this latch here and then ah come on there we go Huh? Sometimes maybe need a little, little bit more power as needed. There it is. <laughs> so you can slide it all the way forward like this. So you can be very flexible as for the trunk space you have, might have or <laughs> as for the leg room. At the moment I prefer more leg room, definitely. And of course, look above here. At the moment the setup here when the bed is all gone, so to say, also with hydraulic struts, so you can have a very roomish feeling here. And of course, a new highlight here for today, Jonas has switched aside, is the second sliding door. This is, of course, pretty handy because I mean, you could jump through the car from left to the right or right to left again. This is pretty important for stunts, for example. <laughs> of course, it's just handy for, you know, whatever you might need to transport or get in and out. And of course, having some air here, maybe at the beach there or something, pretty cool function. Of course an option and it might also be very important for right-hand drive markets. Just met a colleague here from Australia and he told me that this one here, this version was not allowed in Australia before because there's this rule that you need to have the sliding door at the co-driver side, which so far was not possible. So this actually opens the possibility for Australian or New Zealand market to have this car there. Maybe it will come then to this market because people are demanding it. So two sliding doors here, pretty cool. And one thing is of course left, well, trunk, yes, of course, but here, remember no kitchen here in this beach version, but there is of course the bed. So how do we film this? Hmm, there's always a challenge. So I think Jonas has to get in, like to the very high side of the car. We have this fabric and then I pull down the bed and then Jonas can probably film the bed because there's also news with the bed. So it's supposed to be more comfortable than before. So there's a new mattress. So everything is set on even a little bit more comfort. Bedtime, guys. <laughs> so first we can put on a light, a small light up there. Here we go, LED lighting. And there's also the function that you can wake up in the morning with that. And then you just pull this one down against the hydraulic strut and then you have the clear shot to the bed. 
This is then suiting for tall adults, no problem. And well, underneath then you have a normal ceiling then. Well, a little bit lower, of course. Um, and then you can just push it up at any time if you want. So like this, it's really, you know, don't need any, you know, any strength in your arms for that. It's really easily done. Uh, definitely a cool function. And again, it's on the has, yeah. <laughs> this one has new comfort now, so it should be more comfortable than before. And here again, as the ceiling it is, yeah, that works here with one with 86 or 6 with one. Of course, it's a little bit lower, yes, but you can easily live with that. This is actually, you know, um, a good technique to get inside, just to push yourself up right here. And well, then let's see how comfortable it really is. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. So I fit in here very well. And yeah, you know, your loved one just next to you, hmm, that might be very cozy. And then, of course, you can make yourself a little bit more light right here, like with opening those uh, fabric windows. And we can look through the peasant to the presentation which is going on at the moment and we are of course always filming so here is more light for you than here in the sleeping area. So one reason for more comfort is also what's under the mattress. So here those are those new spirals so to say. Here we go. One of those new springs. And this is really you know really adaptive to the body. Pretty cool. So the trunk is of course somewhat relative. Um, you can get different options for that. Then, of course, here at the moment, it depends on how the bench is slid forward or backward. This one here at the moment is a split, so to say. Soft on the top. You can also remove that. Some more space underneath. And then, of course, you can pull all the way a little bit more forward. And, well, here on the top, you can see, this is also where you can store your camping equipment. Here and there, you have chairs, table, and so on. So that, that's also a very good place to put the stuff. So if you push the bench all the way in the front and then flip those seats like this, you have to remove those head restraints first. Then you have, you know, the lower sleeping area. Of course, it's better. There's an additional mattress. Then you can put it on top to even out, you know, the, the leveling here from those seats then it's of course a little bit cozier. It's a little bit, you know, well, you have here all the way, you know, from left to the right. That's the advantage here, so you can maybe sleep with three people, <laughs> I don't know. But it's a little bit handier than in the other version, in the, well, this was the beach, and the coast, yeah, the coast. <laughs> so we'll show it in the coast very soon also how that one works. A little bit slimmer then, but a little bit handier here, you know, as for the area. And a special equipment there is now for the beach, which usually does not have a kitchen. There's a foldable kitchen available. You cannot wash things, but at least you can cook some things down here. Now to the coast version. You remember, coast and ocean do have the kitchen on the inside, but on the outside, this one here is the lower trim, so to say, if you compare it to the ocean. It starts also here with the halogen headlamps. Of course, even for this one, you can get all the other trims, so you can also put the coast and then make it high trim, ocean alike. But that doesn't make much sense, I guess. Also has this distinctive front here, not with the two chrome lights in this case then. Also new assistance systems, all technology will be all the same. In this case, you can also check it inside profile. We got 18 inch rims mounted on this car. So here the interior of the next model here. So a very bright interior, very nicely done also here of the coast. And you can see this contrast fabric. Also, you know, has already some beach style, you know. Also feels very nicely. This one here also with a menu gearbox, either menu gearbox or DSG available. And with the knobs at the infotainment screen, you can see this one has a volume knob and a tune knob or zoom knob. So this one is the eight inch screen, the middle trim. And you can also see this one has the analog instruments with the small screens on the inside. So we can give you another shot of that. So you just see a little bit of variation here also in the front cockpit today. So still in the coast version, you can see this one has the inbuilt kitchen and there are new decors here in this wooden style and different trims also available right there. And all those handles here are also new, so a little bit more quality. Uh, for example here, you know, for forks and knives. 
Fox Over Knives, by the way, it's a great documentary. Get documentary everyone should watch. See it on Netflix. Then here is the sink. Then cooking equipment. It's a nice glass on top of it. So everything looks a little bit more refined now. And here, of course, the cooling box right there. Also, this rear cupboard is new. Here then with two seats. Here this rear cupboard, you can open right there and there's actually, you know, mirror right there and reasonable space inside. Maybe Jonas can get inside and see what's in there and you can access it here from the passenger compartment but also then from the trunk. It was very well secured in the back then you can slide forward this table right there and then there's this foot underneath like this. Then there's this telescope function like this. And then we also have a proper table here for dining. So in the rear of the coast, right there, again, here this new cupboard style. It's a very beautiful design, especially in this bright wood style. You can open the rear cupboard right here. Nice. Feathering back. And like this, or open it right here, slide it backwards. Only thing I can criticize is this like a rather sharp corner. You have to be careful for that with your fingers but then you can also access the cupboard right from there. You can also sleep in the lower compartment of those vehicles, no matter which version you have. The beach, of course, all the way. Here then, when you have those cupboards, then it's only, you know, like two thirds, so to say. And one first feature is here, with, that's not available in the beach, but here in, in the coast, like this, you can fold down the head restraints so that's a good feature because in um, in the beach, actually, here we go. So in the beach, you have to you know put them out and then store them somewhere. And here you can leave them like this. And then the thing is, we have to go all the way to the front to move back the bench to be able to get the full functionality. So and then we have the lower sleeping area, um, also quite cozy and there is an additional foldable mattress available here for the lower part. Then you know, have a little bit softer. I think it's still somewhat cooler to sleep atop there, but maybe you're traveling with four persons or you know, <laughs> with how many or whatever. Um, but still good that you are still flexible here. And then there's this new feature. You pull this strap up, then you have to switch the strap actually that it holds tight and yeah. So Jones cannot see me anymore now, but if you come around, you can see that this one is the new so-called lounge function where you can just relax here, you know, with the backrest and up. Yeah, why not? And then watch some ocean TV. Now to the interior of the ocean. Interior of the ocean. Is that Atlantis or something? Well, whatever. <laughs> Come inside here and here we can, for example, see this is the top mattress I've been talking about earlier. You know, you can put it on the top and then that's course. It's cozier, but still it will be better to sleep on the top part. So yeah, probably the kids will have <laughs> the advantage to be in the top and then the parents in the lower part. This one here also higher trim with this um, wooden floor. Very nicely done. Other than that, it's um, of course, somewhat similar than the cars we have seen earlier, especially if you compare the coast, but this one just higher trim. Also in the front cockpit, you can see this one has all the bells and whistles. Here also with the top infotainment screen. This is of course a matter of spec then still and the full digital instruments again. This one also with the DSG. And a very nice step, you can already see it from, from the top part here, is that you can, you know, you have this sliding split right there like this so you can also you know put your feet on there and then look to the front but this of course has to be all the way in the back that you can access the top, the top part and here also another seat variation with a gray fabric it also has some structure on the inside so they have very nice solutions here for the seats and all animal friendly here today which we've shown you so what about this folding roof and hey we just met thomas b here also autogefühl cameraman Usually he's filming me, 
Today Jonas is filming me because Thomas is here for his channel. If you're German speaking and also are interested in camper vans, he has a special channel for camper vans in German, so you can also tune that. We will also link it down below. And he will also help us with this folding roof. So while I'm outside still reporting a little bit, he can use this control panel and then also fold in this folding roof. Of course, you can also get the manual one to save some money. Um, but this way here, using it with the control panel is of course a little bit easier. So like this. And yeah, I mean, of course, it takes a while, but it's so much more cozy to do that. And then you can finally also see at the end of the stage here today how it looks like when the roof is closed. So this is my favorite spot for today. I would probably turn <laughs> the car around. Um, yeah, but pretty amazing, right? So yeah, you see this car, of course, gives you, gives you some kind of lifestyle. My favorite is the beach because it's, you know, more pure, also more affordable. Yeah, it's already expensive, yes. But if you think about, we have a span of 50 to 100K in this car here with all the bells and whistles, is around 100K. Yeah, that's pretty harsh. So. I, this is also the reason I start with the beach because I think it's more relevant to more people overall. But you can see here, especially with the facelift, a little bit more styling, more interior details, more infotainment system, a little bit higher quality as you know, as for this kitchen, for example, new cupboard styling. So everything looks pretty cool. You can also compare it to the Mercedes Marco Polo. We also have a review of that. So please tune into that. We will link it in the video description and in the comments. Then we can also discuss a little bit more about the differences of those vehicles. So pretty impressive, really cool to go on holiday like this, especially in countries where you can have a little bit more camping possibilities to be here, you know, out in the nature and not only on the camping grounds. What's your take on that one here? Let's discuss it in the comments. And again, tune into the other reviews. Also the driving review of the T6.1 without the camping function. And of course the Marco Polo. And see you next time, guys.